dawn, August 27th. At Florida and island bases, Navy, Weather Bureau, and Air Force planes are warming up to their daily task. 180 miles overhead, Gemini 5 is whirling around the world in its sixth day of orbit. The astronauts are still alone in space, but not quite alone. From the first day on, they've been sharing the sky with Tyros weather satellites, circling endlessly, clicking their pictures back to Earth. And at mid-morning on the 27th, both Tyros 10 and a Navy weather plane make a discovery. Tropical depression at 13 degrees north latitude. The astronauts see it next, okay. same day. Uh, do you have any sort of a report over that tropical depression? I thought we passed right over it. It is a rather large storm with uh, heavy cumulus activity. We could see uh, air to ground lightning even in the daytime. And it does have an eye. Uh, that's the name of that Betsy, in case you haven't been told about it. A hurricane's born and christened Betsy. And in two places, the news spells trouble. The National Hurricane Center in Miami, where Chief Forecaster Gordon Dunn is checking first reports, and Houston Control for the space flight, scheduled to splash down Sunday, right in the path of the storm. 